In this video, I'll show you how to draw the atomic orbitals using Wolfram Alpha. Well, actually, we can only draw the contour plots of the atomic orbitals. Now you're looking at this 1s orbital in the hydrogen atom, e to the power of negative r. r is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. I'm making a contour plot by setting z to 0. So now you're looking at this. And this is the function, e to the power of negative r. r is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Now I'm going to show you 2px. So this is how you draw the 2px orbital. You enter contour plot of x times e to the power of negative r over 2. R is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Again, I set z to 0 to make a contour plot. So it looked like this. And this is the equation. x times e to the power of negative r over 2. Now let's look at some d orbitals. Uh, this is dxy. The function is x times y times e to the power of negative r over 3. Again, I set z to be 0. You are looking at dxy. So again, x times y times e to the power of negative r over 3. All right? Pay attention to the two nodes here. One node, two nodes. All right? So this is when y is equal to 0. This is when x is equal to 0. I want to show you another d orbital. So again, this is x, this is y. But this time, you have two different nodes. This one is y equals x. This one is y equals negative x. The function is x squared minus y squared times e to the power of negative r over 3. And this is the dx squared minus y squared atomic orbital. I was trying to draw the 2s orbital. Uh, this is the 2s orbital, which is 2 minus r times e to the power of negative r over 2. Uh, but uh, I'm using the free version here, so you probably can see this. Standard computation time exceeded. All right, so I was not able to do that. So I was trying to simplify this. I just got rid of Z, uh, but, you know, still it's not ideal. Uh, the 2s orbital is 2 minus r times e to the power of r over 2, and I just got rid of Z. So the shape is correct, but uh, in this plot... There's supposed to be a nodal surface when r is 2. So when r is 2. So I would say this is supposed to be the nodal surface, but, uh, well, it's not very clear here. So this is not really ideal uh, contour plot because it did not specify where the spherical nodal surface is.